Welcome back to Daily Math, week 10, day 3. The Phillips family had three cats. They needed to split 20 ounces of cat food among the three cats. How much cat food would each cat get? And then we need to find out between which two whole numbers does your answer lie. So let's see, let's see. What kind of a problem am I doing? Doing what? Or her 20 divided by 3? Yep. And how many times will 3 go into 20? 6 times 3 is? 20 minus 18 is? So my answer is? 6 and 2 thirds. So my six and two thirds is between which two numbers? Six and seven. Beautiful. Two fifths plus one half equals three sevenths. So it's going to be. No, you need to find a common denominator. So, my common denominator would be... 10, so I'm going to multiply this one by 2. So if I multiply the bottom by 2, I multiply the top by 2 times 2 is 4 tenths. And then if I'm mo moving this to 10, I multiply the bottom by 5. And the top by five. 1 times 5 is 5. So I have 4 tenths. Plus 5 tenths equals 9 tenths. Alright. Number 11. Number 11. So I have to do, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So I'm going to do parentheses first. Parentheses first. Twenty nine minus two is twenty seven. Then I'm gonna put the division sign and then forty five divided by five is nine and then you get three. And then twenty seven divided by nine is three. The answer should be three. You are right. All right. Explain a possible path from the fireman to the house. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not do a very good job explaining this. So if I'm the fireman, how am I going to get to the house? I just need one path. What's one path I could take to get to the house? Two up from well, if I'm going two up from the fireman, one two up is taking me off the board. So fireman, I'm going to go two down. And then one, two, three to the left. Okay, now let's think about this. If you are the fireman, you would be going which direction? So if you're the fireman, you're going two straight, right? It's not necessarily down. So if you're the fireman, you're going two blocks forward why why is my paper upside down you're not wrong but why did I turn my paper upside down well which way is the fireman facing 
So I turned it so that the fireman looks like he's going forward, right? Because if I'm going to explain it from the fireman's perspective, I need to see from the fireman's direction, right? So I could say two blocks forward and then three blocks to my... Then I could say three blocks to my right. Because it's not going to be left if the fireman's going in this direction, right? It'd be the fireman's right. Now, the other way I could have done it is I could have put a compass rose there. If I put a compass rose there, I have north, south, east, and west, right? So if I put a compass rose there, I could say the fireman needed to go two blocks south and three blocks west. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So you need to make sure that when you're writing directions and you need to either write them or show them on an arrow, and you probably need to combine it, right? Pick one path. Show me one path, and then give me the directions the one way, okay? Any questions for me on this? All right, my friends, we will chit-chat with you later. Bye.